Yeah. Alright, so game three, versing Wiz. Hey Wiz, I haven't played you before. No, not at all. Alright, so just take us through your list. Uh, okay. Uh, Knight Errant. Knight Errant. Just a sh Napoleon version of Knight Errant. Yeah, it's uh, Little <laughs> Man Syndrome. Uh, then I've got four tactical squads, in Rhinos, Imperial Fist Tactics, uh, Melter Gun, Heavy Bolter and Combi Melter in each of them. I've got two Thunderfire Cannons and a level two Librarian in Power Armor. Excellent. Um, so we've got the four half tyrants hiding like little girls. Uh, that's actually inside the building. Um, actually, I will. I'll just put them on top, just to remind us. All right, and warriors, and the rest in reserve. All right, versing Space Marines, and I love playing Space Marines, even if it's a Grav Centurion. Star thing. I don't care. I still like playing space uh, again. Space Marines. Um, I like I like the idea of Space Marines, but I don't think I'll ever play Space Marines themselves. Um, I don't know why. I just I don't I, I don't think I can do it. <laughs> they're just too they're too forgiving in my opinion. You know, like they don't break from combat and they rally automatically. And yeah. I, I need something that's somewhat of a, <laughs> not a handicap, but a, um, what is it? yeah, no, golfing handicap, so it makes it harder and harder. Um, anyway, I like this army. Um, the Dread Knight down here was actually a proxy for another Imperial Knight um, because he left his Centurions out, so uh, the TO said it was fine. So we've got down the bottom here, Knight versus Knight. And this is actually one of the big things. So any of you Tyranid players out there, if you're playing, you know, multiple flyers, this is the best way to deal with knights. What I'm doing right there. He pushes his knight right up there in between two pieces of impassable terrain. You fly in front of him. He can't move. <laughs> That's it. It's game over for him. You've got four flamers. You can see I've positioned my half tyrants. Um, two on the side, two in the front. I've got some warp lancers as well as um, haywire, flamer, haywire Flamers and shots onto the side armor. He has to pick an armor, he picked front. So I Warp Lance on the side, plus a Haywire, plus shots, plus this Warp Lance down on the, on the bottom, um, plus Haywire, etc. Haywire's on the front. I got him down to one hull point. I actually rolled a one on a Haywire, otherwise he would have been dead, uh, which would have been perfect. So we were in one dead uh, night. But be because I did it this way, it meant that he couldn't move. So I've got two turns of, you know, then I can fly behind him and to the side again. So you can see I've got some side, some back, and I can now do another warp lance and all that. Um, actually, sorry, I, I didn't do... The, the guys that were in the front where the um, shield was, they actually shot and killed the rhino with the warlord at the back. That's right. Um, so I got him down... To, I think I got him down to two hull points right now. And then I got the warp lance in his bum for another um, um, another one so he's down to one hull point he goes off and kills my um, bastion so you can see one of the things I did was I emergency disembarked my warriors um, and I, I should have also emergency disembarked my um, what's his name the venom throat but it didn't matter like the venom throat was going to be dead he wasn't going to be doing anything anyway I just wanted to give him a target to charge he, I knew he, the bastion was dead but it did its job um, because his Thunderfire Cannons were shooting it and they could they didn't actually get rid of the Voyager or they did on the turn one, but by then all the shots had been done. Um, it regenerated, you know, so his Melter Cannons was trying to get through the thing, but yeah, I, I like Void, uh, one a single Void Shield on the Bastion because it just makes the choice of what to shoot at a bit more difficult. Um, my game plan now, because I, I flew in, I did two... Psychic Screech, I killed a whole bunch of dudes, then did my shots and killed his um, Liberian and Warlord. Um, I'm now using two Hive Tyrants to clean up this side of the board. Um, and I actually flew off in the shooting phase because I managed to Psychic Screech and kill that last unit. I'm using the other two um, Hive Tyrants up here to kill another one of the squads. And the one that just flew off is going to kill this Knight. Um, because he's down to one hull point, I just need one of my flamers or any of my shots to go through. Um, Morlock, of course, scatters off, and he's got the unit, right down the bottom here, he's got a unit, um, and a rhino left, you can see it there. I'm casting Psychic Screech, I kill a bunch more dudes. My, um, I'm shoot, 
I'm shooting with my flamer at the rhino. Uh, at the rhino? Or the, no, at the unit, that's right. Um, so I can flamer and hit, cause a hull point on the rhino, and then shots. I've killed the unit off. Um, and, and this is pretty much it. I'm just cleaning up, getting rid of um, um, marines on objectives. So you can see there's, there's one squad left right in the center there. And there's actually two marines down in the bottom right hand corner. Oh no, sorry, two marines at the top left hand corner. That's right, I kill everything down here. So he's got five marines left here at turn five. Um, I've killed everything off. I'm going for the massive win. We roll to see if it ends and it ends. So unfortunately, even though most of my army is still alive, um, there's five marines left and they're still holding um, some objectives and I don't get um, the full win. But it's still a really cool game. All right.